Many children grow up going to the movies. Some even imagine being in them. For a select few, that dream actually happens. She's always been interested in, you know, kind of dressing up, princess play, that kind of stuff when she was little. By the time she was like five-ish, you know, she would watch a lot of television, watch a lot of movies and stuff, and when she turned six, she was like, Mom, I want to do that. Eva Bella is a child actress originally from Omaha. Of the five films nominated for Best Animated Feature at the 2014 Academy Awards, Eva lent her voice to three of them, including Disney's Frozen. I had the chance to talk with Eva while she was back in Nebraska. Frozen has meant everything to me, basically. It, it just, it's an amazing movie. I think the movie's really touched everybody. It's just so amazing to me. None of us knew that it would be like this big. We thought, oh, it's just gonna be, you know, a Disney movie. And it's responded so amazingly to other people that that's the best part about it. You okay, Anna? I got you. Elsa, what have you done? With her main claim to fame, the role of young Elsa in Frozen, Eva is continuing to grow as an actress. It's really fun, like, when you get a script, you get to be the person. And because normally when you're yourself, you're yourself and you have your own personality. But you get to, like, feel someone else's personality and feelings through a script, which is, which is what I think is the coolest part. The thing with voiceover is that, in, I mean, first off, animation's really cool, and you always get to see it for other people, which is awesome. And it's just fun feeling the character just through your voice without showing any, like, face emotions or anything else. You just get to use your voice. And the funny thing is, we always, Eva goes into my closet, our bedroom closet, she takes my phone with her, she records the lines, and then we just forward that on to her agent. So she's actually booked a lot of jobs from recording herself in our bedroom closet, which is kind of funny. It hasn't been all smooth sailing in attempting to start a young acting career. That first year, Eva's father and brother stayed behind. Keeping that family connection from a distance was a struggle. It was really difficult, particularly, you know, Tim didn't have a lot of support. Um, my sister Jessica was living in Pittsburgh at the time, and she would literally drive in, spend the week with Max, and then, go, you know, drive another five to six hours to help Tim during the week with Max. I mean, Max turned 10, and I was in L.A., and he was in Indiana at the time. You know, and we're Skyping, and having Skype sessions with your 10-year-old on his birthday, I mean, that's heartbreaking. So it was definitely a lot of sacrifice. With the family reunited, the sacrifices have paid off, and Eva is ambitious about her future. I want to be a director, and I want to be an entertainment lawyer. What about producing? What about giving an interview? Is that something that you maybe want to try? Yeah. Get up and switch me seats. Yes. Awesome. All right, you can ask me whatever you want. <sighs> OK. Do you like your job? I love my job. What's your favorite part of your job? The, my favorite part of my job is being able to create a story and being able to interview people like you and being able to build it from the initial idea to the final product. It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I think that's what you'll like about being a director. It was a great interview. Thanks for having me here. Thank you for coming. <laughs> All right, good. You know, you get so many no's in Hollywood, and you get one, ch one yes, and it changes your attitude about everything. As a parent, you know, knowing that the sacrifices you made have really helped your child fulfill their dreams and really have some amazing experiences as a 10-year-old child, I mean, those are gifts that she'll never, she'll never forget that kind of stuff.